Alrighty, this is my Airbnb in London. It's super small. And if you want to party, you come check out this hallway with me. <laughs> Squeaky floors, steep stairs, and party lights and all. And got off the plane, got a little lost. Took the Piccadilly line down here, which is supposed to take like an hour-ish with two train stops and a little bit of walking, but the line kept ending right before my stop, so two train rides turned into four train rides, one hour turned into two hours, and my signal I should have had on my phone was non-existent, so it was a bit of a... I had to figure it out, and I figured it out, and I got here, I got here, I hung out, chilled for a little bit, then walked on down to Mushi's, which is a vegan restaurant that I've been wanting to try since last year, and I got to try it now. And it wasn't as good as I hoped, but it definitely hit the spot. And um, it's just like a five minute walk down the street. I've got dessert to go, which so far so good. I got this little Oreo brownie guy and some ice cream to top it off. All right, so it's Wednesday. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go to the Fields Beneath, which is a cool little coffee shop me and Yessie went to last year. They got coffee and they got croissants and little coffee shop stuff, baked goods and such. And then um, I'm gonna wander around Camden Town. I'm gonna get a little lost. Um, I'm gonna take an Uber there, which I can because I have Wi-Fi here at the flat. Um, but my signal is like garbage out here. I was supposed to have signal out here, but it looks like I'm not gonna have it. So, oh, such you guys right there. So I'm gonna take advantage of having Wi-Fi here, take an Uber over there to get over there fast. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go shop around, get me some new clothes and uh, get some plenty of food in my belly like usual, you know? Cell phone, wallet, keys. Fields beneath at the spot, got some golden milk, got a croissant with mushrooms and sage in it. Got another one to go for the road. I'm gonna go get pizza now and explore Camden Town. Between these two, which one, which one do you think is better? Pesto. Pesto? Yeah. Alright, I'll do the pesto then. We have the pesto and then have the sausage on the top if you want. Let's do that.
back then, I wasn't like, I wasn't an apprentice, I weren't into tattoos so much. So. And you're not a good tattooer, you just want a good tattoo. Yeah, like I knew like from Instagram and stuff, but like, majority of it, I didn't know too much, you know what I mean? See, I'm jealous of that. I like, when I started getting tattooed, Instagram wasn't around yet. Yeah. And so it was like, we just had these tattoo magazines, and I didn't like what I was seeing in the magazines, and I didn't really care for the shows and stuff. No. I just got things that I liked, um, whatever application they kind of chose, and I just kind of rolled the dice. I never thought about getting tattooed outside of my own like, neighborhood, you know, I never thought that. I could go, I would never have thought to go to a different city or state or country to collect a tattoo. No. And I think tattoo collectors were very like into it, you know, it meant more to be a collector back then. Now anyone could be a tattoo collector. I mean, oh yeah, for sure. But I mean, I'm not mad about it. I mean, I'm here, I'm here in Leicester tattooing because of it, you know? Exactly. exactly. But um, I, I'm more so envious that I didn't, I was not more in the loop as people are today. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Like. I kind of, I did, I knew exactly from getting a shit tattoo that it wasn't meant to be like that. Like my first ever tattoo, I got all the lines dropped out and it kind of like, it kind of convinced me that like, I know what's not, it's not meant to be like, I've seen tattoos on other people and like, they're not all shit. Right. So my first one having all the lines dropped out kind of like made me think, uh, I'll try somewhere else. So I went to another studio, it was actually the studio George and Kaya had. Okay. And they got my first piece, uh, not my first piece, my second piece there. And I, it healed like completely different, like completely solid. And I was like, I just kind of knew like, it's not meant to be like that. You know what I mean? Like, right. you don't want to go pay for a tattoo and then have to get it touched up just because they're not technically good or like, right. you know what I mean? Cool. Yeah, I think I do want to venture into here a bit. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Can't get in that negative headspace. It's easy, no problem. I yeah, want it. No. Getting it, I got it. No big deal. When you start telling yourself it sucks, you start believing it sucks, yeah, and then it starts sure. to suck. For sure, man. See, I like stuff's easy. I should've just got a bunch of no-outline <laughs> soft <laughs> portrait shit on me. I could've had it off, no problem. Be chilling. Easy to get, easy to heal, easy to laser. Get more. They should market it as that, temporary tattoos. Get it laser. Yeah. Yeah, that, that light stuff's super easy. That's, yeah, not, that's how it eventually should all feel. Right, it makes sense. The more you get, the less it hurts every time. The more it breaks down. Yeah. Oh, I got a cell phone. I totally caught that. It's pretty really good. <laughs>
that's Alexander Palace. And then that's like the park. And then that's London right there. Super cool day. Everyone I met today was super awesome. Thank you so much for the camp said hi to me. Sorry my voice is gone. I had to yell in there a bit. Thank you so much to Scarred for Live. Hooking me up for that massage table all day. You saved the day, mate. Thank you for letting me break it in. I appreciate it. Tomorrow I have a couple tattoos to do, but uh, convention ends oddly early, so we'll see how that works out. Wow, look at this place. Boom. Super cool, huh? Yeah, so today's the last day of the convention. There's only two days. The first day and then kind of like ends early at six today. Had a cancellation, hopefully it's filled, we'll see. Um, it's a little humid, feeling a bit sweaty, feeling a little bit scruffy, feeling a little bit nasty. I'm kind of ready to go home and shave and uh, change these laces. Breakfast of champions, huh? Transition. So today, I had a cancellation and a no call, no show. Bummer, but I've still been having a great time. There's this uh, street food festival going on outside Alexander Palace. Forgive me, my voice is still gone. A little worse probably than yesterday. But, yeah, I was gonna go out and eat at like a loving hut in London, and um, there's all this food right here, and my Airbnb's just literally down the hill. So I thought I'd just take advantage of this, it's nice. All right, it's Monday, time to get lost. Speaking of lost, I seem to have lost my Oyster card. So I'm gonna try and use the Wi-Fi here to take an Uber to a donut shop. Donut shop, hoping they have Wi-Fi. 
And then, um, so now buy any Oyster card, maybe explore a bit, then take the train to the airport. That's what the thing is called, where you take planes and fly places. And uh, fly home. I have some hours to kill, but I don't really have aspirations to do much. Since it's the last day, I'm just kind of anxious just to get home. So I may just do the donut shop, then make my way. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to spin you guys off into me going to the Uber. I'm not a coffee or latte person, but I like turmeric. Look at this. So, I'm too full to get a donut, but that French toast was literally the best French toast I ever had, and that turmeric latte was fucking insane. So, I'm super stoked, but I'm super bummed because I don't have more room in my belly to eat more. Trains, trains, trains. Planes, planes, planes. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. So I'm back home in Riverside. Um, I did not end of the video, so I just made the video and it was like 10 hours of footage and I would say well over a week of editing. And I just finished it and it doesn't really end. So I figured I'd just kind of can I come over here and talk for a minute? Thank you so much for watching, first of all. Thank you so much to everyone that got tattooed. Thank you, George, for letting me tattoo your shop in uh, Leicester. Thank you, everyone that helped me out at the convention. I'm gonna tag some friends below in the description. I'm gonna write, you know, some of the songs I use in this video, as well as a, a little link to subscribe to my mailing list. So if you wanna know future traveling dates and you wanna stay in the loop, I have merch coming out, things like that. It'll all be announced in the mailing list and put out a new one in about a week. I try to do, once or twice a month and have something new to say, that's where it goes first. Um, 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 I don't know. Yeah. That was, uh, that was London, that was Leicester, that was London again. That was my video. Thank you again. I appreciate you always. And uh, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>